Let's go ahead and glue up the, uh, the eBay sled. And for that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use epoxy. This is a little bit overkill, but we want our rocket to stay together, so. And it doesn't take much epoxy here. Have epoxy on there and just butter up along that inside edge. I get the glue there. glued there and this one gets glued on the other side because if you glue it this way it's going to block the, the all thread from going through so that gets glued there and just make sure that nothing's going to run down and get on your table or that will, will clog those holes. Otherwise, you got to drill them back out. So that's how easy it is to put together the eBay. Now I want to start to mount the electronics in our eBay and on our rail sled. Um, previously, we've gotten to this point. We've put uh, holes in here for um, this one is going to be for our wires and we'll probably have to uh, make it a little bit bigger because our wires won't go through it but that's okay we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that in a little bit um, and this one here will be for our mounting of our uh, ejection canister and this will hold the black powder so these are already done on both sides um, so right now we're going to mount our altimeter on the sled. Now, the mechanics of it is pretty much all the same, so it doesn't matter which altimeter that I'm showing here. Um, for you, um, it may, the altimeter may look a little different, but you know what you're going to mount is pr basically pretty same. Um, this right here is going to be our battery stop. Um, I want the battery um, to go forward. So this is going to be the forward end of the rocket. Um, the deceleration force is worse than the acceleration force when the rocket takes off. So that, that battery is really going to ram up hard against there. If it went the other way, the battery could come loose, yank itself out, and then we got a mess. So I want to put this forward. Um, and then our, our altimeter can go anywhere along the board. Um, but on our altimeter board, or on our board, we're also going to need to mount our switch. And on this, this case, I'm using a push switch. Um, this is in our electronics kit, our electronics mounting kit, so that's what I'm going to use. And that switch is going to be through this hole right here. So that we, when we're ready to launch, we can just stick a screwdriver in there and just push that button and then we'll be ready to launch. So that's going to get mounted. I'd like to put it as close to the middle of the board as possible. Um, and I don't want it hanging off the edge because as we push it in and out of the, of the eBay, I don't want to get hooked on anything. I do have a little bit of room and I could let it hang off a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to try to keep it as close as possible. So that's going to determine where on the board this uh, altimeter is going to go. Um, now this slot right here is for wire wrap so that we can tie down our battery. And I'll just show you how. I, I typically use um, two wire wraps. And then I go around like that. Um, so that's what that's for. Um, we're also going to have the, uh, the battery connector. Um, 
because the battery is going to be facing this way, um, I'm going to turn my altimeter around so all the terminal jacks are on one side closest to this so that it's a little easier to hook up. All right, so I'm just kind of showing you the basics of how we're going to mount things. It doesn't look like I'm going to get this switch as close to the center as possible, but that's okay. I'll put it like about right here. And I'll just draw an outline so that I know where it goes. Right there like that. Okay, now our altimeter. I can put it right here. And so the first thing I'll do is run a pencil through the holes here so I know where to drill my holes to mount it. Okay. Now I'm going to be tapping um, the threads into this board, so I need to use the proper size tap, and this is a number 40 tap. So I'm going to load up my drill with the proper size bit. Okay, and the uh, tap, you can just use your fingers to do that. Okay, so my holes are tapped, threaded. And I'm going to get my mounting screws. And, and these are plastic, um, which is kind of nice because if, if the rocket would crash or anything happened, they would shear off and it gives you extra protection for your altimeter. So that's kind of why we use the plastic ones. They'll just tighten right into those threaded holes. Oops, I'm spinning around because I remember I want this cl as close to the battery as possible. And these have a little bit of washers on them. Need a screwdriver. 